What's up guys, Lost Gaming here today with another video, and today is top 7 of my favorite locations to land in Fortnite Battle Royale. Coming in at the number 1 spot is Tilted Towers, because Tilted Towers is a fun and challenging place to land. Whenever you land a Tilted, you know it's going to be challenging if you're in solos, duos, or squads, and it's just an overall great place to land when you're trying to get better at Fortnite Battle Royale in general. Here at the number 2 spot is Paradise Palms, because Paradise Palms has kind of the same reasons as Tilted, it's fun, it's challenging, no matter what game mode you're in, solos, duo, squads, 50v50, anything. But as you can see, the reason I also like landing Paradise Palms is because, right here, I just now landed, and I got a suppressed purple AR. I don't know about you guys, but every time I land here, I get like the best loot ever, it's awesome. And I also get in the most challenging battles, as you can see right here, where I end up dying at the end. But besides the point, those are all the reasons I like Paradise Palms as a, my second favorite landing location. Coming in at my third favorite place to land in the game of Fortnite Battle Royale is Loot Lake. The reason I like landing Loot Lake is because sometimes you find snipers, you can have epic battles to snipers in Loot Lake with a bunch of other random squads, friends in playground mode or creator mode, whichever one you prefer. But the main reason Loot Lake is fun is just overall like, it's been there since day one of the game. Everyone, like, knows and loves this loot lake. It's, like, something Fortnite will probably have forever within the game. Loot lake is just an epic place to land. At the number fourth spot is Retail Row, because Retail Row is a great place to land. It has a lot of variety in terms of its loot. Um, how many people land there, that has a variety depending on what game you're in or which game lobby you get in. Um, in this lobby, very few people landed there, and sometimes there's a lot of people landing here depending on challenge days. Number five is Dusty Divot. Because Dusty Divot, there are a lot of hiding spots. You can ambush other players. You can get flank on other players and squads, solos, both well, squads and duos, really, are the only two you could do that in. You could partner up and set up ambushes on enemy opponents. It's awesome for tactical reasons in Fortnite. Here, the number six spot is Salty Springs. Because Salty Springs is just like... One of those places you don't ever plan to land, it's just like right there in Fortnite. And like, dude, it has decent loot. A lot of people land there depending on the challenges that are going on for the week for Fortnite Battle Royale. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Salty Springs. At the number six spot is Frosty Flights. Frosty Flight has only been in the game since like December of 2018 and now it's January 2019 but Frosty Flights like it's great because it's like one of the first official like airport airports Fortnite has ever had in the game and it brought along airplanes into Fortnite Battle Royale making Fortnite more innovative than it ever was before but that's pretty much the only reason I like Frosty Flights it has airplanes pretty much all of the reasons I like Frosty Flights besides just they have airplanes there at Frosty Flights is because Everything that makes Fortnite Fortnite is the reason these lo and locations are so great in the first place. But the airplanes make Frosty Flights twice as better, and it was a great addition to Fortnite Battle Royale through the update. This video was supposed to be 10 minutes long, by the way, and I ended up making it 4 minutes and 55 seconds because there's not a lot of like good, good landing locations of Fortnite Battle Royale. It was going to be a top 10, so then I just switched it to top 7. But without further ado, let's go into the number 7 spot. Alright, here are the number 7 spot of my like final favorite location to land in Fortnite Battle Royale is Polar Peak. Polar Peak is an amazing landing location. Like They added the sword there at one point, which was awesome. It's the Ice King's Castle located there at Polar Peak. I don't know how long Polar Peak will be in the game due to the fact that that is all snow in that area of Fortnite, and as we know during the summer updates, that could all melt, but while Polar Peak is in Fortnite Battle Royale, it's just one of my favorite locations to land, regardless of it being like on the bottom of this list. It should have been at the first of this list, but I put Tilted Towers there. Polar Peak is fun and challenging sometimes. You could win more games when you land at Polar Peak. Squads are easier at Polar Peak for some reason in my experiences, as you guys could tell from the live stream. I don't know why. Polar Peak just is an absolute great place to land for anything you want to try going for, for challenges, kills, eliminations. Victor Royales and Fortnite Battle Royale. The good loot and the balance of players that go to Polar Peak is what makes Polar Peak Polar Peak and Fortnite.